Good afternoon, new 1%. It's Satoshi Boomin coming at you with another video. Guys, I'm gonna need you to hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, and leave a comment down below. That pushes my videos up in the rankings, so instead of you watching cute little cat videos, you get a little bit more Satoshi Boomin in your life. Up on the screen here, we have our wonderful Patreon subscribers, AJ, Bread, Garlic House, Mac Harris, Sergio, Lassie Nielsen, The Fern Line, Jeffrey, Ethan, and Marilyn Crypto. Thank you for your wonderful Patreon support. I got my hot tea and honey locked and loaded, ready to go. Let's get this show started. So, today guys, we have a double header for you guys. I really do hope you enjoy this. Uh, I have been, I had been pondering this video for a while. Um, and the reason why is because DeFi, if you know, if you've seen the title down below, DeFi is extremely, extremely volatile. Okay, and you know, it's not to be taken lightly, it's not to be, you know, you shouldn't throw your whole life savings into it, guys. Like, you know, you need to do your own research. Okay, this is not financial advice. I want to stress that enough. I know that none of my videos are financial advice, <clears throat> but this is certainly not financial advice. I am not a financial advisor, I am literally some guy on the internet who created a free YouTube channel and bought a mic and started talking about crypto on the internet. So just, you know, take that into consideration before you dump your money into this. Now, with that out of the way, guys, <clears throat> we have three altcoin projects that I think can... <clears throat> Gotta take a sip of tea here, guys, sorry. Last video I recorded just fine. In this video, my throat wants to start acting up. Anyway, um, <clears throat> these are three altcoin projects. These are three DeFi projects that I think can spur the next super massive parabolic bull run. Um, a couple of these coins you may know about. <clears throat> and there is, excuse me, and there is one coin at the end that I think is definitely a sleeping giant. Uh, you can probably make some decent money off of it. Again, not financial advice. Taking the information, do your research. Let's get on with it. Now, this coin here I have talked about so much <laughs> on this video that it's kind of not fair that I'm stuffing it in here. But I really do think that Synthetics Network token is the next thing. I mean, we're talking about a token here that an exchange that you could stake your SNX take debt out on it, and then have access to the largest derivatives exchange known to man. You could buy crypto, gold, anything you could think about on this exchange. This is a derivatives exchange powered by the SNX token. <clears throat> now, I think that this token is very reputable in my humble opinion. And, you know, I think that when more and more people find out about this, it's going to go absolutely insane. Why am I so bullish? Derivatives markets are the largest market in the world. Okay, they're bigger than the stock market. They're bigger than the crypto market. They're bigger than, you know, all the nation's GDPs combined. The, a derivatives market is estimated to be in the quadrillions of dollars, guys, like a human brain can't even quantify how much that is. So we have an exchange, not only that's a derivatives exchange, but it's a decentralized derivatives exchange. You can yield farm on that sucker and you have access to unlimited amounts of products that you can purchase. So, <clears throat> synthetics token um i wish i could have bought back here when it was a dollar back in 2019 it was three cents guys back in february 2019 it was three cents and it has just exploded over the past year um now i even though it's corrected i still think that synthetics token is you know 100x worthy in my opinion and this is not me moon boying this is just like the potential of the network token because you can stake 
you can yield farm. There's so much things you could do with this token. Um, and I'm still doing my research on it. I missed the boat. I have not bought any of these tokens except for Uniswap, which we will talk about next. And uh, so I, have, I am not invested in synthetics, so not yet. Um, and that's important because this is me being unbiased. I have no stake in this. So <clears throat> I'm su super hyper bullish on it. I will purchase this in the future. Um, and let's take a look at the website. If you're still a bit confused about what it is, the derivatives liquidity protocol synthetics is the backbone for derivatives trading in DeFi, allowing anyone anywhere to gain on chain exposure to a vast range of assets guys silver gold metals gas anything you could think of is on the derivatives exchange and it's awesome the way they do it you can stake your synthetics but when you stake your synthetics you generate something called susd which is synthetic usd you could take that synthetic usd and do a number of things with it you can go onto their exchange and buy like synthetic Bitcoin or synthetic gold and do it that way. You can take your synthetic USD and move it to another exchange and gain yield on it. There's so much things you could do with synthetics token that I am hyper bullish on it. And I know I keep saying that. So let's move on. Uh, you can earn rewards. By providing collateral to synthetics token, you could stake your synthetics token like I just talked about. You could trade with synthetics token. Derivatives trading, infinite liquidity. So here are the partners here. Framework, Three Arrows, DTC, Hashed, Spartan, XBTO. I know I'm spending a lot of time on this one token, so let's move on here. But here's the website, guys. Um, highly bullish on it. And then as um, as I do with all the showcases, we will go here to their Twitter. Nice, big, fat following there. Um, <clears throat> the team is good. They answer questions on Discord. Um, so, yeah, constantly updating their protocols. It's just all around good project. Highly bullish on it. Spent a lot of time talking about that. So I kind of spoiled the uh, spoiled the pack, fumbled the pack there, and uh, told you about the next coin, which is Uniswap. Now, I think almost everybody knows about Uniswap, but if you don't, it is basically a token swap protocol, decent completely decentralized token swap protocol ran on the Ethereum blockchain, okay? Now this token here is has no intrinsic value, but the reason why I'm bullish on the token is because the protocol itself is robust and definitely something that I think is going to be around for a very, very, very long time. Okay, Uniswap is a definitely a good protocol. The fees are kind of high, but they are working on some things with that. So let's just say you wanted to swap your Ethereum to uh, DAI, okay? You would go on Uniswap. <coughs> wow. <coughs> Excuse me. Need to take a sip of tea. Don't know where that came from. Um, so, yeah, uh, you wanted to exchange your Ethereum for DAI. You would go to Uniswap. You would swap it. You would pay a small gas fee. Well, the gas fees are pretty high. And now you have DAI. So, pretty simple, pretty self-explanatory. Now, the coin has been down. It's a relatively new coin. Um, released in about a couple months ago, actually. Not too long ago. Released in, yeah, September 2020. So... Definitely not too long ago, about a month ago. Uh, had a high at about 8 about $7 here, and now it is down to $2.90. So, the coin, the token is meh, all right? You can vote. You use this token to vote on protocols on the Uniswap exchange. So, if you wanted to change things on the, uni on the Uniswap exchange you can and you would do that 
by acquiring unit token and using those tokens to vote. But I'm more bullish about the protocol itself because here's the protocol. For now, you can stake Uni. You would need to connect your wallet. You can stake your liquidity tokens. Okay, so let me let me back up. All right, so you can earn Uni. You can earn the token here by participating in these uh, liquidity pools here. And how you do that is you provide a one-to-one -one match. So let's just say Ethereum costs hundred dollars. You would need to provide one ETH, and you would need to provide a hundred Dai. Okay, because in our hypothetical example, one ETH costs a hundred dollars. So one ETH and a hundred Dai, and you would put that into this pool here. And not only do you generate fees so let's go back so to get those uni tokens guys you provide the one-to-one -one liquidity like i mentioned earlier so also you can gain a 0.3 percent fee liquidity providers as a whole can gain 0.3 percent fee on all trades proportional to your share to the pool so if there is <clears throat> a lot of volatility when people are trying to buy ETH to buy uh to sell uni for eth or to buy eth for uni let's just say uni spikes up in price to a hundred dollars a uni it won't but let's just say it does people are gonna like fomo in and use their eth to purchase uni so every time they do that depending on how much you're staking i'm only staking a very very small amount here you know some people have you know a million eth or, or not a million eth a million uni and you know however many of that equivalent in eth and are getting a much larger percent of this so if i was if i provided more liquidity <clears throat> i would get more of the share okay so everybody who's providing this is getting is they're they're taking 0.3 percent of that fee um and that's why that's how you can earn a, a little bit of passive income now that comes with risk there's some there's a certain thing called impermanent loss which we won't get into this video uh because that would make this video way too long but there's something called impermanent loss that you know definitely is risky so this is not a hundred percent you know like staking where <clears throat> you know it's pretty safe there are some risks with providing liquidity but this is definitely a way that people can or anybody can earn a uh, passive income so here's my account um we're earning i've earned about six dollars in liquidity and you know i provided this liquidity about a couple of days ago and i've already earned a couple of bucks on the fees okay guys so uh obviously the longer you hold it in there the more fees you can earn and definitely provide liquidity to things that you um are bullish on because if you're not bullish on it you're you don't want to be pulling out liquidity and stuff the, fee, the gas fees are way too high. So <clears throat> it's a little bit short thing on liquidity. Um, and you can earn this uni token by providing liquidity to these pools here. So these pools here, you can earn uni token and liquidity fees. By providing liquidity to these pools here, ETH WBTC, ETH USDT, <clears throat> ETH USDC, and ETH DAI. Um, so again, these uni tokens are for governance. Um, so if you wanted to vote on certain proposals, if you wanted to propose certain things, you have to provide unis. And then down here, you can see how much you know you're getting a week by uh, the total amount deposited. So die is 
um, the least amount of people have l provided liquidity to die because it's the lowest. So you'll earn a slightly higher bit of uni per week. And then moving on here to the um, the Twitter here. Obviously, Uniswap has 100k followers. So it was a pretty popular protocol. I think it's here to stay. They constantly update. They constantly do bug bounties and all that great jazz. So, and they're audited. The smart contracts are audited. So, do your research if you want to provide liquidity. You can earn a little bit of passive income. Definitely bullish. <coughs> My throat is kicking my rear end today, guys. I apologize for all the throat clearing. Um, so let's go ahead and wrap things up here. And the last protocol that I think I'm pretty bullish on. This is definitely a riskier protocol, guys. So please do your own research. I'm not a financial advisor. Don't throw your whole life savings into it. If you're going to do it, do like $100. Test it out gas fees are pretty high you're probably gonna lose a ton of money on gas fees starting out okay so just want to get that out of the way this is very risky now <clears throat> we just talked about uniswap now we're gonna talk about mooney swap okay guys so mooney swap is kind of like uniswap however their little twist on it is that liquidity providers get more share of the pie. So due to impermanent loss and other issues with Uniswap and high fees, um, liquidity providers, especially if you're providing liquidity to shit coins, get the short end of the stick. Okay, a lot of people are losing money. I just spilled coffee all over myself. Um, so... A lot of liquidity providers are losing money. Mooney Swap here wants to change that. So they are a AMM protocol launched by One Inch Exchange. And we're going to take a look at One Inch Exchange here in a second. I like One Inch Exchange because with you with One Inch Exchange, you can aggregate your swaps to different protocols to get the best price on gas and a thing called slippage, which we won't get into today. But you could earn higher fees from the MooneySwap protocol than you can from Uniswap because they put a bigger emphasis on liquidity providers than Uniswap does. And I think that that's definitely bullish. Now, now, why am I bullish on this? Because they are currently about to release a token called One Inch Token. Now, guys, this I'm not super bullish on this token per se, but it could be a way that you can earn a decent amount of money pretty quick if you provide liquidity to this token, to this uh, uh, exchange here. There's a chance that they will release the one inch token, which you can immediately dump on the market immediately. As soon as it's released, immediately dump it. It'll probably be at the highest price. It's going to be for a while and you could earn a quick buck. That's what I'm doing. So just like Uniswap did when they did their airdrop, MooneySwap is planning on doing an airdrop. So I am bullish on MooneySwap. I probably am going to provide liquidity to MooneySwap for you know, now until whenever, but as soon as they release the token, it could be a way that you could earn some serious moolah, depending on the tokenomics. The token has not been released yet. Don't get scammed. The token has not been released yet. If you're watching this in the future, I'll do an update as soon as the token is released. Okay. So keep your eye out. Mooney swap one inch exchange. <clears throat> now, uh, one inch exchange has not been working on my brave for some reason. That's okay. Let's just say you wanted to swap ETH into die. It will find the best protocol for you to save on gas. So instead of you paying like two dollars in gas, you could pay like one dollar, a couple of cents. Also, they have their own gas saving token. Gee. 
token, okay? It's called Chi Gas Token, and you can reduce your uh, gas prices on that as well. That's a topic for a different day. When we do the one inch token uh, review or showcase, uh, I will definitely talk about Chi Gas Token. But this video has gone on long enough, and I've been rambling. So, and then finally, guys, we have our um uh the Twitter. Keep your eyes on the Twitter, and if you are gonna provide liquidity. Jeez, my throat is killing me. Um, when you, uh, if you do want to provide liquidity, uh, make sure you keep your eye on the Twitter and the Telegram. They have about 8K followers, so they're not too well known yet. It could be a token that you can get on the ground floor. Not a financial advisor, do your own research, all that good jazz. All right, guys, thank you. I have to show my Patreons here. AJ, Bread Garlic House, Mac Harris, Sergio Lassie Nielsen, The Fern Line, Jeffrey, Ethan, Marilyn Crypto. Thank you for your wondrous support, guys. I know this was a very rambly, ranty, off focus video. I'm sorry, but I hope you enjoyed the double header. Please enjoy your Sunday. Watch some football, drink some beers, hang out with your beautiful families. And I will talk to you tomorrow. Don't let your memes be dreams. Goodbye.